good morning students today we, uh, we are going to see the topic is diborane okay va the diborane is the um, hydrated boron okay va the boron have many hydrated boron example you have the b5 h11 b5 h9 b4 h10 uh, then b10 h14 b3 h7 it is the many hydrated borons you have so the simplest boron high hydrated boron is b2 h6 the b2 h6 is called as the diboron okay well, now we are going to see the so topic now, now 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 we are going to see the topic is diboron topics so diborons are classified as the uh, closoboron niolo boron arachno boron so there are classifications borons classified the closo boron niolo boron arachno boron so there are classifications of borons diborons so now we are going to see the industrial productions of diboron how to prepare the diboron okay va now you are going to already you know the diboron formula is b2h6 is the formula for the b2h6 is the um, uh, formula of diboron you you think uh, suppose you think the boron react with the hydrogen to form diboron so okay, the boron do not react with the hydrogen directly how to prepare the boron so all the borons the boron react with the metal hydrates metal hydrates any metal hydrates the boron react with any metal hydrates to form the diborons for example you take the metal hydrate what metal hydrate you take the sodium um, borohydrate you take the sodium borohydrate you take in the dicline pro um, dicline medium dicline means what is the meaning of dicline means di glycol methyl ether medium so in the dicline here you have me so join together to say the dicline dicline medium dicline medium means in ether medium sodium borohydrate in dicline medium is react with the iodine to form the diborane and the sodium sodium iodide hydrogen is formed another one preparation is so magnesium borate so the uh, magnesium borate react with the hcl to form magnesium chloride b2h4 h4 plus h2 is h2 is formed here uh, the b2h4 is the volatile borines okay va well, in the volatile borines are react with the further react with the hydrogen to form the diborane this is the preparations of the diborane next you are going to see them what is the physical properties of diborane diborane is the colorless sweet smelling and toxic uh, gases at the low room temperature low thermal stability stability it has low thermal stability but uh, it is highly reactive at the high temperature high at high, high temperature it forms the higher borons and liberates the hydrogen okay well, for example the five molecules of borons react with the high temperature 388 kelvin it forms the higher borons it celebrate the hydrogen here you see the all the diborates are react with the higher temperature to form the higher borons to liberate the hydrogens this is the uh, physical properties of uh, diborates here you know here b2h6 react with the red hot to decompose the uh, diborane decompose to form the boron and the hydrogens next we are going to see that so the diborane react with the water the diborane react with the water to form the boric acid boric acid plus hydrogen is liberated next we are going to see the reaction with alkali the diborane react with the sodium hydroxide uh, plus water to form sodium meta borate is formed sodium meta borate is formed the hydrogen is is liberated okay next we are going to see the reactions of air 
here you note the actions of air in the actions of air at the room temperature um, the pure diborane do not react with oxygen oxygen but um, impure diboranes so react with oxygen react with only impure diboranes only they react with oxygen so borane react with oxygen to form b2o3 in the b2o3 you form the large amount of heat is liberated how how many amount of heat is liberated with 2165 kJ mole minus 1 heat is liberated so borane uh, react with the oxygen to form b2o3 okay well, this is the uh, actions of air